Well, I am back in the US and this week I'm in Las Vegas meeting customers, partners and analysts at the Informatica World Conference. Extra credit to those who can guess which Las Vegas hotel is behind me. If you've been following me, you know that this is the second conference I've been part into in real world and 3D world and I'm loving it. And if you're just catching me right now, you'll find in my blog the top five resources in the world of data, AI, and analytics. So let's get started. The first most popular post of the week was Intel's Capital Post on the state of the database market. I'm thinking many of you like it. I'm thinking about you, Merv, because it's got some really compelling stats on what's going on in the database market. The first one is the DBMS market has more than tripled in the last 10 years. Relational databases capture 80% of that market. Cloud, of course, is the fastest growth and 70% of new applications are now developed on open source. Also, the number of configuration and tuning knobs has grown by over 500% in the same time period. And wait for it, the growth of people, DBAs, staff supporting these infrastructure and these configurations has only grown in the single digit. So even the best DBAs cannot spend time in endless configuration. They are not available 24 seven. So the bottom line is your database needs AI and machine learning. So you're gonna to wanna to read more in the blog to find out what that means for you. The second most popular post of the week was the post on data culture. It's a great piece by Forbes, uh, by my friend Keith Ferrazzi. He's the author of Never Eat Alone, Who's Got Your Back. Great, great books. I met him uh, what, 15, 20 years ago, but I particularly loved his piece because he sources all this information from industry leaders who know what they're doing. Data leaders and Novartis, NFL, Ameriprise, and many, many others. So take a look at it if you're interested in understanding if you centralize, decentralize your approach. This is the article to read. And then to close, traveling gave me a lot of time to listen to podcasts. And so there's at least two podcasts that I would advise you take a look at. The first one is the Data Engineering Podcast, and the second one is my favorite one, the GCP Podcast. Now you're thinking this last one is a plug, but trust me, if you're interested in learning anything about infrastructure, cloud, databases, you're gonna love the GCP Podcast, particularly this last episode on AlloyDB. It's a product that we just introduced in the market. Many of you reached out to me to find out what it's about. Well, in the latest edition of GCP Podcast, Sandy and Gigi do a really great job talking about this innovation particularly in the context of everything else that's going on in open source and the ecosystem. So it's a must listen to, in my opinion. And then finally, the Data Engineering Podcast. Um, my friend Justin, who's the CEO and founder of Starburst, talks about the history of Hadoop DB, Trino, super, super interesting uh, podcast if you haven't caught up with all that history. This week, my friends at ThoughtSpot and Tableau also had their conference. So I guess it's official, we are back. And I hope to see you at the next event. Uh, for me, it's probably going to be the Gartner uh, Data Analytics Summit in Florida later this year. So let me know if you're going to be there down there. And then, of course, connect, DM me if you need to know anything. And I will see you next week.